Hey everyone, my name is Levi Russell, founder of GM Binder. Welcome to a bonus video of our six part series called What is GM Binder? This is a series of short videos about the core features and functionality that you can find within GM Binder. In today's video, I'm going to talk to you about our snippet wizard. This is a new feature that we hope to add to GM Binder with a successful Kickstarter campaign. This feature will make adding new and complex uh, snippets to your documents much easier than it is today. The screens that I have up on, on, uh, on the screen right now are mockups. They are um, you know, work in progress and will certainly evolve as we continue to build out this platform. Uh, but to give you an idea of what we're talking about here, uh, this is a new snippet wizard. Uh, we intend to categorize some of these, uh, some of the snippets within the platform to make them easier to find, uh, as well as create generators for them. So for example, we've created a new uh, snippet called a location block, and we've selected it here. And once we do, we start going through a user interface. So unlike today, where you have to edit Markdown for everything that you add into uh, your document, we want to add some of these snippet wizards for the more complex uh, blocks in GM Binder. So you can plug along and you can type out the name, the description, add whatever properties are, are needed for this particular block and continue down. And so it's a, it's a multi-stepped uh, wizard in this particular case. This would be one of the more complex uh, snippets. So as we continue on, we see that we have a few more things here. And then finally, what we'll come up with is a preview of the block that you're about to insert into your document. You'll be able to go back and make changes as necessary. If you see a typo, obviously this will be a scrolling window, so you're able to see it. Uh, but once you are happy with the snippet that you're about to insert into your document, all you need to do is click finish. The code will be inserted into the editor, much like it is today on the left-hand side. And then you'll see the preview of the block on the, in the preview pane. Uh, we would like to be able to build some functionality functionality that will allow you to edit these blocks once you've added them in. However, that is a pretty complex ask just due to the flexibility that we have. So we may have some conversations with the community about what sort of trade-off would be uh, acceptable in, in uh, that scenario. So with this, I just wanted to put together a quick short video uh, about a feature that we, we really hope to add to GM Binder. And uh, if you do have any other questions about the platform, please do contact us in our Discord or on our subreddit at any time. Uh, the community is very active and engaged uh, and will be able to answer any questions that you may have. With that, I'm going to wrap this video. This is the final video of our series, and uh, I really appreciate your time. Thank you.